<laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> Well, uh, we'll welcome everybody again tonight to our another parent meeting. And um, tonight we're going to go over a few things about social media mainly. And then we're going to do some things to help you with your Christmas shopping as well. So it um, should be a fun-filled night. The boys, again, that are here to help us out. First of all, I'm Mary Trent, Tech Integration Specialist. Nancy Peterman. I'm a technology teacher and hardware assistant. Uh, <laughs> boys. Michael Lutz, Senior Tech Intern. Seth Gannon, Junior. Others. So these guys have helped us out tremendously. They have a wealth of knowledge, and we're trying to use and abuse all their knowledge as much as we possibly can before they leave us to bigger and better things. So um, they're going to do most of the presenting tonight. Um, they're going to kind of let you know um, <coughs> all the ins and outs of these social media tools, and then um, we're kind of going to talk to you about which ones you'd like to for us to tackle tonight. Um, I don't think we'll have time for all of them, but um, all of them are in the presentation. And I did send out a presentation this afternoon, but if I missed anybody, just let me know as we're kind of roaming around and getting to work, and then I'll um, send it to you. The video, the screencast, and the presentation will all put on, on the Kemper website again for anyone that could make it or if you want to go back and review. Um, so we'll have all that information for you there, too. Um, I don't think we'll do another one in January because it's cold. <laughs> We're cold already in November, so we'll kind of see what February brings and see if we can't do another one then, too. And I think more issues and, and uh, more things that you want to learn about will come up then, too. Your feedback is tremendously um, needed and appreciated, so let us know where you want this to go. You know, if you want to learn more about specific topics or go into certain detail, um, just please let us know that and we will set these up according to your feedback. That's kind of what we did tonight. We took, got uh, feedback from the last one. Um, social media was a big one that parents wanted to learn more about. What's Twitter all about? I don't get it. I don't know what a tweet is. What's a hashtag? You know, so that stuff we're going to learn tonight from the bottom mm -hmm. up. Um, so we'll, we'll start there and stuff. So um, the ones that the social media that we talked about, that we'd like to cover tonight um, that are the big ones are Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, Snapchat, and Vine. So of those, how many of you have a Facebook account? Raise your hand. Okay. How many have a Twitter account? Okay. How about Snapchatters? Okay, and um, Instagram, and Vine. Okay, good. So there's there's some room here that we can work with. So, And then some of you that have, like, Facebook or Twitter or any of those others, and you're sitting by someone that needs help, please help each other out, answer each other's questions, that kind of thing, too. We're around to help you as well, too. So where would you like to start? Should we start at um, some Facebook stuff, or do we want to go right into Twitter? Those are kind of the two big main ones. You tell me what you'd feel like to do. Those of you that don't have a Facebook account, would you like us to tackle that first? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. All right. So we'll go ahead and do that. You boys want to come on up and talk about Facebook? While, um, the, while these guys are going through these things, if you want to get on to the Internet, so if you click like the Chrome browser at the bottom, and let's go ahead and just go to Facebook.com. Who'd you click? Who's that? Oh, okay. Should we start off by having people who don't have an account create an account? <coughs> okay. Oh, well, that's okay. Gonna... Okay, by show of hands, who doesn't have a Facebook account? And we'll walk you through that just quick. And everyone else get logged into theirs. All right. So. That is, if you say you want to create a Facebook account. Yeah. Do you want to create that? If you don't want to, you don't have to. Do a way to monitor your kids. Yeah. So, what, what's, what's the thought or the fear? Don't want to be uh, uh, fearful. That's one more thing I have to check. I, I have to look at one more thing I have to do. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay. It works well. Okay. Well, we got to move on. Account settings, when you get to. Okay, is everyone ready? That's probably what you should ask. Okay, there we go. Well, I'm just going to go through the terms and stuff and just some definitions. We'll go through those slides of what it is. Who is the mouse? Oh, okay. So once you get into your account, in the top right, you'll have account settings. One of the main things you can do here is set who can see what you post. So you're posting pictures and stuff. You can say anyone on Facebook who can find my name can see it, just my friends, or friends and friends of friends. It's really your preference. What do you think? Okay. Um, a friend, honestly, I feel like they should change the name to people you've made eye contact with. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's just people who you can see and share posts with. It's kind of a way of networking. Um, I haven't really used groups in Facebook. Uh, you guys? Uh, we have the rest. We like sports. We okay, that's... Spit things around in there. The, they're just pages for certain activities. You still, have, you still get all your other stuff, but... Like, um, as I was saying before, too, we created a group for my family. Um, I also have one with just my nieces and stuff, too. But basically, it's a private group. I have one with my high school girlfriends, too, because it's really hard for us to kind of keep in touch. And so basically, it's a private group in Facebook. So whatever you post, it's not anything no one else sees except for those people in your group. And so it's just a separate sort of group. So um, I have, like, my general home feed that has, you know, my friends whatever they are posting, and if I post, goes there too, but then the group is private, and so I can put that as just off the side. Um, like, for instance, for Stellar Swap, have you heard about that on Facebook? That's a group as well, um, So, but that's a little bit bigger. So group. do you make your group where only, like, you have to say, yes, Chris Allen can be a part of my group? Yeah, when you create the groups, you have to invite people. Well, yeah, yeah you, have, you can set it to everyone, just mm -hmm. friends or specific people. Okay. Like uh, most of my or swim team did this for a while, and if we wanted to organize something, they just post there. People would comment, we'd be like, okay, this many people, it'll tell you how many people have seen the post. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of adjust accordingly. So how do you access that group? You just type in my cousins and my whatever you, on the, once you get logged in, it's, your stuff's listed on the site, your group's will be, so you just click on oh, all there. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Been listed there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, a like is like, I don't like the definition. It's kind of the currency of Facebook. People post things, and that is their goal, is to beat out the next person in likes. So it's the currency of Facebook. Um, a profile. What? They've Really? I've not been on in a while. <laughs> profile. Your profile is a collection of photos, stories, experience that tell your story. It's just if someone picks your name, they go to your profile, and they'll see what you posted recently, what's been connected to you. It's kind of how people can kind of get to know you. What I've seen a lot of kids my age do is they'll uh, meet someone briefly and they'll get their first and last name. They'll go on Facebook, find their page, and they'll figure out like where you're from, first and last name, phone number maybe. It's kind of creepy, but impressive. I would. What? You might also use that to track someone like when we got to our high school um, gathering, you know, for reunion, and somebody's name was up there, but you weren't sure that's who it really was. You could go to their profile. Because we went on a trip to Nashville, met a kid for about a day. All he gave us was his first name. One of my friends was able to find them on Facebook and give me like their life story. It's really creepy, but I was impressed. Anyway, uh, searching is the way to find profiles, names, pages, or anything else on Facebook similar to its name. I mean, searching. Tagging. Uh, tagging is what you do with pictures. You have a picture. And Facebook now has a face recognition thing where it'll put a box around each name and then you're allowed to type in a name. And if that person has Facebook, it'll link that picture to your account. So then they know you're in that picture now. So if I have a picture of a friend and myself, I can tag myself. And if the friend sees that picture, they can tag their name on their face and it'll also be linked to their page. And people can tell who's in the picture. Uh, timeline. It's kind of Facebook's way of organizing your profile. It's chronologically ordered. New stuff at the top, older stuff at the bottom, and has your life events. They'll put some of the more important things like got married, had a child. They'll get big boxes and they kind of tell your life story. 
how kids use it. Um, from what I've seen, heard, uh, pictures to upload just a place to show them off. Instagram is very good for that too. Uh, to talk to people that you can't talk to normally. That's a nice messaging system, normally for people who live way far away. Social gaming, I'm pretty sure you guys have all gotten those requests if you have Facebook, like, come join and insert game here. You get lots of those. Um, it's getting very ad-ridden because it's starting to decline in uh, popularity. They use ads to keep their income up. It's also good for ranting. If you want to find people who are angry at the world, they tend to post here. So um, if you do want to create an account and you haven't already done so, we have a link on the uh, PowerPoint that we shared to you. You do have to be 13 years or older. Granted, it's not too hard to put the date where you don't need to. So if your kid's under 13, that's probably what they did. Um, I did talk about this briefly. You can go into your privacy settings. And uh, in general, if your kids do have Facebook, tell them to put a profile picture with more than one person so they can't be singled out easily. Um, also, make sure that their settings only show stuff to friends. So they have to be okayed by the user before they can see and view information on you. And you don't actually have to fill out 90% of the information. They only really need, I think, your first and last name and your email to make the account. You don't have to put your date of birth, your phone number, and a lot of other stuff. So you're almost better off doing that. Creating a post, I mean, pretty straightforward. You just click in what's on your mind, type, add photo if you want to add a photo. If not, hit enter. If Twitter. you type someone's name in a post, they'll come up with a little box of names like like if you put in K R, it'll come up with a Karen or something like that that has K A R in it. And you click on their name, they will tag it in it too, and let them know that you posted it. I didn't do it. Oh. So he's saying that's next. Any other questions you have on Facebook or things you're wondering about? Facebook, I think, too, is probably, of all of the social media, it's probably the less, um, or I would say it's probably almost the most safe for kids, just because um, a lot of parents are on Facebook and are monitoring what kids are doing. Um, it's, it's a little bit easier to understand how Facebook works. Some of these other ones we're going to talk about is a little obscure, um, what they're all about, and that kind of thing. So, um, as I mentioned, you know, it used to be um, MySpace. Did anybody have a MySpace account a few years ago? Yeah, I had a MySpace account. Now that's like not even something in our vocabulary anymore. So I think Facebook is probably <coughs> going that direction as well, too. Um, and has started to do so, like you said, too. The ads are all over the place because other social media tools are sort of outweighing what Facebook can do. And it is a lot safer. I saw someone ranting about someone else, and I saw three or four comments underneath it defending that person. Generally, since anyone can see anything, you'll have friends of that person kind of intervene and be like, no, that's not the way it is. So bullying is pretty much non-existent because you have too many people. Or, or if there is things going on like that, it is very easy to block that person. I know people with my Facebook, I have people I'm friends with who I know, but don't particularly keep a close relationship with. Well, they post quite frequently and not and about things that I don't really have interest in. So I'm able to take them off of my uh, feed where all of the information that people post and do goes. I was able to take them out of it so I don't see what they're doing anymore. But I still am able to go in and check up on them if I really want to. And it's nice too because it doesn't send them a message like, hey, um, did you send you? <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't happen. I know I have a niece that kind of used some colorful language in some of her posts, and so I blocked hers too from my feed, but she doesn't know she that. Know that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just one of those things too where a lot of the younger generation don't quite get that when you put that stuff out there and people see that, read it about you, they get an impression of who you are, and they may not be accurate, but. It's your language you're using, it's the pictures you're posting, and those kinds of things. And I mean, we're, we're telling high school kids and, and younger too that what's on your social media can affect you when it comes to jobs or even college applications anymore. And it's getting more and more prevalent. And they're just not quite, it's not sinking it. And so we really need parents to help us out with that too and, and get that message across that it's like they're called their digital footprints. 
So what they put out there, you know, if it's something that, you know, my husband always quotes a coins and phrase of, you don't want grandma to see it, so you don't put it on. <laughs> so the other thing they don't realize is once it's out there, it's out there forever. Yeah. They yeah. can find it or delete it, but there's already been five or six or seven or twelve servers that have copies of it that made copies of the copies and it's out there forever. Can you just Google a name and have you ever Googled your name before? Your own name? Okay, sometimes. Or even your children's name? See if it'll show up. Facebook was notorious for privacy. In the past few years, I think they've gone away from it. In the past few years, Facebook would update it, update it, well, then it would reset all of your privacy settings. And they're notorious for you'd maybe make everything strict for no one to get in, but they'd update it and then anyone could get in and look at your profile if they wanted. So it's just something to check up on uh, occasionally and see that make sure that all of your settings are where you want them to be. But uh, yeah, so a lot of times if you Google your name, it may pop up with your profile picture. But you, um, if you have your settings set, you usually can't get any further than that than just seeing the profile picture of the person. Mm -hmm. On the on the facial recognition, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. My wife posted a picture of her mom last week when she was nineteen or twenty years old, mm -hmm. and the problem was it popped into a picture of Amy's niece oh, wow. and like mm -hmm. her name to all of them, mm -hmm. and they're very I mean they're. It's just the, the facial recognition is that tight that it, wow. it pulls her name right up on it. Yeah. And uh, Facebook with jobs, I know that's something employers are getting big into now. Is, is as soon as you apply, they instantly go to Facebook and search your name to see if you have see who you are as a person. And so if you're posting pictures of you partying on weekends or doing things that are illegal or not showing good character. Employees a lot of times can go in and see these and get a good judgment call on what type of person you are instead of just having an interview and you trying to put on your best show. They can see behind what you're actually doing. And so people need to be, that's one thing to really be careful of is, yeah, once it's on there, it's on there forever. And I know people who go back years and don't like pictures of them in like eighth grade and delete all of them, but it's just remembering that anything you post on there, it, it can't have consequences. A friend of my husband lost his job because he got on Facebook and started complaining about his workplace and his derogatory things. And next thing you know, he didn't have a job anymore. So that's something that's very real too. When you guys talk about the rants that go on, is that you have to be careful with what you're saying because again, you're not just saying it to your computer. You have a large audience, and you just never know where that's going to end up. What do you What do you change your settings on Facebook? Or don't you have a profile developed and stuff? There's a little gear in the top right hand corner that says settings. You got it there, the blue gear? Yeah. It's all settings. Any other questions on Twitter or on Facebook? Go ahead to Twitter. Where is the setting for the to block but yet not unfriend? It's the lock there. Right here? Yeah, you should click that. I see. It, it'll be in there. I think I thought that you had to go to the person. It's yeah. that you have to go to the person, and then in there you can say, like, go to oh, the, yeah, their you go page. To go to your, yeah, you go to their also. page and say, mm -hmm. see you're talking about. Okay. Yeah. You don't know what I just did. That. That, it won't, you can <laughs> make it under here so. If anybody searches your name, the only thing they can see about you is your profile picture and your name. Yeah, and that's nice because then if somebody actually knows you, they probably know what you look like already too. So they'll see, hey, I know this person. I'll send them a request and before they can see anything about you. You have to accept it because that notifies you. It notifies you. There's a little earth if you're looking on it, and you click that. It'll have she's got a one next to her, which can change the one notification. It'll not, also sign the two people. Friend requests are two people. Yeah, the, the, the two people. There's friend requests, messages is the little chat bubble, notifications of the group. And um, if it's somebody's birthday, it texts me. It 
Texas is not every day to get to some of these groups anyway. The question might be for you guys, uh, students, um, if they were to block or block the unfriendly, is that accepted policy? I mean, that as an insult, but other friends. Some people notice it. Like, I've seen people like block someone else and then that person that got blocked will like, yeah, block. They'll, they'll ask all sarcastic about it. They're all like, you know, like, 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 so let's see if I can find Facebook settings here. But so on the left here, yeah. if you scroll down, no, where are the settings at? It moves stuff all the time. All right. I don't even know. Oh, privacy shortcuts. Okay, so this is where Michael was. And so here is the box saying, who can see my future posts? And so you can change that between public, anyone can, friends, or you can go even further and change it to only me or custom. So people who uh, you can select a few people. Um, and so, yeah, you can lock it down pretty far there. Um, and then uh, going through who can contact me. So through like Facebook message, um, I have a set to strict. This is anyone versus your immediate friends. And who can send me a friend request? Um, so anyone, or if the person's a friend of a friend I know, so a relative who may be a friend of my mom or something, they can send me a friend request. If not, they aren't able to. So you can lock this down pretty strict if you really wanted to. Um, and then uh, stop someone from bothering me. There you can put someone and you can block that person if you don't want to have anything to do with them at all. Otherwise, I am... Um, let me choose someone here. Um, and you know, if you do have children that you know really, really want Facebook, for instance, and they're not quite 13, <coughs> I would definitely close this way down to them. You know, that way you could have just family members, maybe a few neighbors, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. But and then to and then make sure you're a friend of theirs, so you can monitor mm -hmm. what they're doing too. And so on a person's page. Um, you can sit here and click get notifications. And so that is, that will give you notifications about it, or you can set them as close friends, acquaintances. Um, you can unfollow them if you wanted, message them, poke them, and see other things about it. But yeah, you are able to, you are able to choose who you are close friends with, and then keep those who maybe you want to keep in contact with, but don't want to be bothered by and able to kind of keep them out. So it's just all having to kind of dig through settings in Facebook. And Facebook keeps changing their settings mm -hmm. all the time and stuff moves around. Uh, Facebook on your phone is has the settings buried in different places than on uh, the internet here, but it's just having to look through and find your settings. And it's a good idea to occasionally check them to make sure that none of them have changed and that you're making that you're only people you want to see what you're doing can see what you're doing or and it's just always good to do a uh, check up on it just in case you change your mind about what you're wanting to post and so i know uh people use this for like family uh family gatherings it's a good way to get a hold of people or i think uh, high school reunions are using facebook because if you're a friend with a person phone numbers change emails change addresses they move somewhere else it's a way to get a hold of a person, but just by you're able to not be bothered by them if you choose to change the settings in that way. Okay, other questions on Facebook? Okay, let's talk to Twitter then. No, it's 40 minutes. So. I guess you're right. I should probably 